A little more than half an hour now to uh, the opening bell on Wall Street. Joining us uh, now in the markets, Dave Sakara. He is chief U.S. market strategist uh, at Morningstar. Do you get more bullish yesterday or starting to worry now uh, that, that maybe we're getting a little bit too uh, frothy? Well, the market, according to our fair value, is trading a couple percent above that fair value. So, again, not necessarily getting into overvalued territory, but it's definitely starting to feel a little stretched here you know, in the short term. When I think about the market dynamics, I think the market's been a little spoiled over the past couple of months. You know, when I think about the dynamics, you know, we had very strong growth in the third quarter last year, followed by you know, over 3 percent growth in the fourth quarter. But looking forward, we are expecting that the rate of growth is going to slow. We're only looking for 1.5% uh, one GDP here in the first quarter, slowing you know, even in the second quarter. And you know, for 2024, GDP of only 2% overall. So I do think the market is getting stretched here. And I think investors really need to think about you know, going forward. You know, what's worked for the past year and a half probably isn't going to be what's going to work for the next uh, part of the year. So you see a, a, a leadership change to what? We do. And at this point, when I look at, you know, what's really been, you know, driving the market and I think about like the Magnificent Seven stocks, you know, beginning of last year, you know, six of those seven were all undervalued coming into 2023. You know, they were rated either, you know, four or five stars in our view. At this point, they're mostly played out. You know, five of those stocks are now rated three stars. You know, Meta has gone too far in our view. That's now a two star rated stock. And only Alphabet is still undervalued, you know, at four stars. So I think investors need to look for, you know, those areas of the market, start really looking into some more contrarian, you know, types of plays. I think what you need to look for specifically are, you know, those areas that have underperformed, are unloved, where there's a lot of negative market sentiment, and of course, most importantly, still undervalued. Do you think uh, what we're seeing, some of this positive action now, Dave, is it more about earnings being better than expected or continuing to come in strong, or, or is it uh, that, that we may you know, be back at the uh, partying again, partying like it's 1999 yeah. again when we get three rate cuts. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I can't imagine how many people have asked me, oh, is this 1997 or is this, you know, 1999? And when I look at the obvious, you know, artificial intelligence plays, you know, at this point, you know, the NVIDIAs of the world, they're trading, you know, fully valued or even getting to be, you know, overvalued according to our estimates, you know, at this point in time. So I really think you need to look at those areas like value stocks, you know, the value category still trades at a 7% discount to our fair value. And I think you need to look at small cap stocks, you know, small cap stocks have definitely been left behind. A lot of opportunities there. You know, we see the small cap space trading at a 20% discount to fair value. And of course, historically, when the Fed does start to cut, you know, that's usually a good indication for both the value and the small cap categories. All right. Uh, so we should see some better breath, maybe. Um, it, it has been getting better. The leadership uh, is not quite as narrow. Dave, thank you.